Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a really quick review of this Ninja Hot and Cold Brew system. I'm going to try to keep this pretty short and sweet just because I feel like at the end of the day this is something that if you feel like it's a good buy you're going to purchase it. You don't really need to know every single feature like how hot the water is going to be etc. But if you have questions you can feel free to drop them in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to help you out in any way I can. Now, jumping straight in, I'm not endorsed or sponsored by Ninja in any way. I just really enjoy some of the coffee makers that they have. Now, before we get started, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the channel for new content. Now, jumping straight in, this brewer has six brew sizes and five brew styles. So you have quite a bit of combinations that you can actually make, and it does work with tea as well as coffee. But the beauty of it is it has specialized settings for each. So it's not like you're just throwing some tea leaves into a coffee maker and pressing brew. Now I'm going to take the camera off real quick and we'll do a quick walk around. Now it has rubberized grips on the bottom to keep it from sliding too much. On the left hand side you will see your measuring spoon for coffee and tea. And it has a little rubberized grip which I appreciate that helps to keep that secured in there. You will also have your milk frother that pops out. And I love that they added this because it if it was extended out all the way at all times, it would take up quite a bit of counter space, but you can just slide that back whenever you don't need it. Now we are going to move this box out of the way and we will go to the side. Pretty standard here. You just have your little water basin with your max fill line, and then you can fill to whatever desired water level you have. Now we are going to back this up just a tad and put this back on the stand here. Now, overall, it's been a pretty, pretty solid coffee maker. The thing that I love is the second you turn it on, and we'll try to get close here for this, that's when, we'll just say the magic happens. It just looks incredibly premium. It has that feel to it once you turn it on. So if you'll notice, your screen lights up the second this is turned on. So you'll have options with your first knob up here to adjust the size settings. And then your second knob down here is what chooses your brew style or strength. Now to add a little bit more to this, we'll zoom back out and I wanted to show you that it has this intelligent sensing basket to just basically determine whether you have the coffee or tea filter in there. So if we slide this out and you'll notice the way that it slides, the logo actually rotates around, which I think just adds to the cool factor. But you have your coffee basket here where when this is pressed down, the coffee will uh, come straight out through this little hole in the bottom. And then you have your metal mesh filter for this coffee basket. However, if you're interested, there is also a separate basket for tea, noted with a little tea leaf and this little small mesh filter here as well. Cool thing is, when you put this in and you slide this shut, you'll notice the tea light automatically turns on and your menu right here changes to where you can choose between herbal black, oolong, white, or green tea. And you also have the same ability to go with classic, rich, over ice, but cold brew, specialty. So that menu changes back to what we were originally looking at. Once you put this coffee basket in, so I'm gonna zoom in just a tad, and you'll see it automatically switches over to the coffee setting. So you'll have your choices here for your classic, rich, over ice, cold brew, and specialty. Specialty seems to be pretty popular for people to add this little kickstand, and you can put a smaller mug here. When I say smaller, to give you a little bit of a size comparison, this fits a mug like this perfectly. However, my I Heart Mom mug, the base is much too large, and it'll hang over the edge. So there's a rubberized grip on here, which keeps the mug secured in that little space right there. But if you have a mug that has a base that's a little larger than this, then it's probably gonna struggle to stay on there without potentially falling over. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and brew a cup of coffee really fast. And I'm just gonna brew it with regular water because I wanna show you the fact that this, first and foremost, it has the intelligent sensing plate, so it'll automatically start the warmer if you're brew size is larger so over i believe a uh, half of the carafe or larger it'll automatically keep it warm and it also has a light that'll stay on when it's hot even once the brewer is turned off that light will stay on until it's at a reasonable temperature so you don't burn your hand if you're trying to clean it 
So to go ahead and start the coffee brewing process, what you can do is we're going to choose our size. We'll pick the extra large mug, and then we're gonna go with rich. Although if you wanted to do cold brew, the instructions will tell you, you do need additional coffee grounds and it will take longer. And specialty, depending on what you're wanting, is also gonna have some different settings and options as well. So we're gonna to go to rich, and when you click this little select button, you'll hear it beep, and you'll see this new menu come up. So this new menu, or the status bar, lets you know essentially where you stand in the brewing process. So each light will start to blink, and it'll uh, essentially in sequence near the end, you'll be at the fourth light, for example. The fifth light is right when the brewing actually finishes. So it always shows you where you are in that brew cycle. Now, here I wanna go ahead and pause for a moment and talk about some of the things that I think uh, this thing or this coffee maker, some areas where it falls short. So first and foremost, when you pull this carafe out, occasionally it can catch this brew basket, which can be slightly irritating, but not a deal breaker for me. Secondly, you can occasionally hear this almost like a high pitch whine while it's brewing, but it's only at certain parts in the brew process. So I noticed the first couple of times I used it, it was very prevalent. Like I could hear it, a very distinguished, like high pitch sound. It's not as common now that I've been using it for a little while. I'm not really sure if there's anything to that, but um, it brews coffee pretty quickly. And I don't know if you can hear the high pitch noise, but it's going right now. So um, again, not a deal breaker. It shuts off once the coffee maker's off. But those two are the biggest irritations for me. Other than that, the only other thing is when it brews, you, I feel like it's actually clamping down on this basket right here, which is kind of cool. So when this basket, uh, this, you can't remove it right now. So it's actually pushing down on the basket, which is causing that little black lever. So on this, for example, it's what's pushing down on this to make sure that the coffee's actually coming out. The downside is once it stops, it automatically releases that pressure. So if there's any additional water in that basket, it's just kind of trapped there. So the last extra large mug that I did, there was still some water left in that basket. So I don't know if it's like a timed release or how that works, but I don't feel like I got all of the coffee out when I was actually using it. Again, not a big deal breaker, just kind of a slight irritation, um, but it, the functionality and the features here, I just feel like are too good to pass up if you are looking for a coffee maker in this price range. Now, a lot of people will probably ask whether or not this has a coffee grinder built in, and it does not. Um, I've heard a lot of complaints about coffee makers with the built-in grinders being incredibly loud, and uh, just honestly, it's not a deal breaker for me. I have my own grinder for something like this. So that's really everything there. I don't want to go through and brew one of every single type of coffee, but just wanted to show you all the features that it has. I mean, it's a pretty quick and efficient coffee maker. I'm coming from an older Ninja model. I had some issues with the basket leaking or the water basket, so I just switched over to a new one. I love this one, features and functionality. I just, again, feel like you can't really beat it for something in this price range. But feel free to ask any questions. Let me know if there's something or any coffee makers out there that you feel are better for the price. And again, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the channel for new content, and I'll see you all in the next video.